Have you ever pondered what it means to become the best version of yourself, to rise above ordinary human limitations, and to truly embrace your full potential? If so, you might find the concept of the Ubermensch, or Overman, fascinating. The Ubermensch philosophy was introduced by the 19th century German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche, a revolutionary thinker who challenged traditional values and morality. He believed that humans could overcome their limitations and create new values to guide their lives, transcending the constraints of conventional morality. Nietzsche's work, particularly in Thus Spoke Zarathustra, lays out the context of the Ubermensch within his broader philosophy. He saw the Ubermensch as an ideal to strive for, a symbol of humanity's capacity to overcome itself and create its own destiny. This figure embodies the ultimate expression of individualism, self-realization, and the will to power. The concept of the Ubermensch did not emerge in a vacuum. Nietzsche's thought was influenced by several predecessors and contemporaries. The ancient Greek philosopher Heraclitus, for example, emphasized the constant change and flux of life, which resonated with Nietzsche's rejection of static moral absolutes. Additionally, Arthur Schopenhauer's ideas on the will to live and the affirmation of existence had a significant impact on Nietzsche's work. In the coming sections, we will delve deeper into the intricacies of the Ubermensch philosophy, exploring its interpretation and application in various fields, its challenges and controversies, and the potential it holds for the future. So, join me as we embark on this philosophical journey into the world of the Ubermensch. As we explore the current state and impact of the Ubermensch philosophy, we must consider how Nietzsche's ideas have permeated different areas of life, from literature and the arts to politics and self-improvement. First, let's discuss the influence of the Ubermensch on literature and the arts. Nietzsche's ideas have inspired countless artists, writers, and thinkers to challenge conventional norms and push the boundaries of human potential. For example, the works of George Bernard Shaw, such as his play, Man and Superman, revolve around the theme of transcending human limitations. In music, Richard Strauss's tone poem, also Sprach Zarathustra, is a direct homage to Nietzsche's book. Another area where the Ubermensch philosophy has made an impact is in the realm of self-improvement and personal growth. Many self-help books, motivational speakers, and life coaches have drawn upon Nietzsche's ideas, emphasizing the importance of pushing beyond one's perceived limits to achieve greatness. The Ubermensch has become a symbol for those striving to improve themselves, overcome obstacles, and unlock their full potential. However, it's essential to recognize that the Ubermensch concept has also been controversial, particularly in political contexts. Throughout the 20th century, Nietzsche's ideas were misappropriated by various political movements, most infamously by the Nazis, who twisted the concept of the Ubermensch to fit their dangerous ideology of racial superiority. It's crucial to understand that Nietzsche himself did not advocate for such a distortion of his ideas, and his work has since been reclaimed and reinterpreted in a more accurate and nuanced light. In the next section, we will delve deeper into the challenges and controversies surrounding the Ubermensch philosophy, as well as the ways in which it has been both misunderstood and misused. Now that we have a better understanding of the current state and impact of the Ubermensch philosophy, let's address the challenges and controversies that have arisen in its wake. One of the most significant challenges in understanding the Ubermensch is the complexity and ambiguity of Nietzsche's writing itself. His aphoristic style and frequent use of metaphor can make it difficult to pin down the precise meaning of his ideas. This has led to numerous interpretations and, unfortunately, misinterpretations of his work. As previously mentioned, one of the most troubling misinterpretations of the Ubermensch concept was its appropriation by the Nazis. They distorted Nietzsche's ideas to justify their genocidal actions and promote an ideology of Aryan supremacy. It is crucial to emphasize that this was a gross misreading of Nietzsche's work. In reality, Nietzsche was an outspoken critic of anti-Semitism, nationalism, and racism. Another controversy surrounding the Ubermensch philosophy is its potential to encourage elitism and disregard for others. Critics argue that the emphasis on individual greatness could lead to a self-centered, ego-driven pursuit of power and success at the expense of others. 
However, proponents of the Ubermensch philosophy counter that Nietzsche's work encourages personal growth, creativity, and a striving for a more profound understanding of life, rather than a ruthless quest for power. In the final section, we will explore the future possibilities and potential solutions for how the Ubermensch philosophy can continue to inspire and challenge us without falling prey to the misinterpretations and controversies that have plagued it in the past. As we look towards the future, it's essential to consider how we can harness the positive aspects of the Ubermensch philosophy while avoiding its pitfalls and misinterpretations. One potential solution is to focus on the aspirational and inspirational aspects of the Ubermensch. By emphasizing self-overcoming and the pursuit of personal growth, we can encourage individuals to strive for their best selves without fostering elitism or a disregard for others. This approach aligns with Nietzsche's call to move beyond traditional moral frameworks and explore new, more authentic ways of living. Another possibility is to promote a more accurate, and nuanced understanding of Nietzsche's work. By engaging in thoughtful discussion and dialogue about the true nature of his ideas, we can dispel misconceptions and ensure that the Ubermensch philosophy is not misused for nefarious purposes. This could involve interdisciplinary approaches, such as incorporating Nietzsche's ideas into educational curricula, hosting academic conferences, or fostering public debates. Finally, we must consider how the Ubermensch philosophy can be adapted to address the unique challenges of the 21st century. With the rise of globalization, technological advancements, and environmental concerns, it's essential to contemplate how Nietzsche's ideas can be applied in ways that promote personal growth, creativity, and critical thinking while addressing these pressing issues. In conclusion, the Ubermensch philosophy, while controversial and at times misunderstood, still holds the power to challenge and inspire us. By focusing on personal growth, fostering a more accurate understanding of Nietzsche's work, and adapting his ideas to address the challenges of our time, we can harness the potential of the Ubermensch philosophy for the betterment of ourselves and the world around us. One practical application of the Ubermensch philosophy lies in setting ambitious personal goals and consistently striving to surpass our limitations. By embracing Nietzsche's call for self-overcoming, we can adopt a mindset of continuous growth and development. For example, we might choose to set a goal to learn a new language, acquire a new skill, or improve our physical fitness. As we work towards these goals, we can embody the Ubermensch spirit by pushing past our comfort zones and embracing challenges that lead to personal growth. In the face of adversity, the Ubermensch philosophy can serve as a powerful reminder of our inherent strength and ability to overcome challenges. When confronted with difficult situations, such as a job loss, relationship breakdown, or personal loss, we can channel the spirit of the Ubermensch to find the courage and resilience to persevere. By reframing these challenges as opportunities for growth and learning, we can emerge from adversity stronger and more resilient than before. The Ubermensch philosophy can also be applied to our creative pursuits and endeavors. By breaking free from traditional constraints and embracing our unique talents and passions, we can cultivate the courage to innovate and create something truly original. For instance, an artist might experiment with new techniques or mediums, while an entrepreneur might pursue a groundbreaking business idea. By daring to push boundaries and explore uncharted territory, we can channel the spirit of the Ubermensch and contribute to the advancement of our respective fields. Finally, the Ubermensch philosophy can inspire us to take a stand for causes that matter to us and work towards creating a better world. By recognizing our own power and agency, we can embody the spirit of the Ubermensch in our efforts to fight for social justice environmental conservation, or any other cause that aligns with our values. Through our actions, we can demonstrate that each of us has the potential to make a difference and help shape the world in which we live. These examples illustrate the transformative power of the Ubermensch philosophy in various aspects of our lives. By applying Nietzsche's ideas in practical ways, we can unlock our potential, overcome adversity, and create meaningful change in both our lives and the world around us. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the fascinating world of the Ubermensch. I hope that it has sparked your curiosity and inspired you to delve deeper into the rich philosophical legacy of Friedrich Nietzsche.